It's time for a new food adventure. Let's eat. Hey, so I just finished the MRE hot pot. It was really good and I'm pretty full, but I also bought this. It is the super hot pot beef flavored instant noodles from 7-Eleven. They cost 53 Taiwan dollars, which is about $1.77 US. I've heard really good things about it. The reason why it's more expensive is because apparently it has vacuum sealed beef inside, just like the hot pot. So I've heard really good things and I'm excited to try this. So I'm gonna put some water in it now to make my gourmet instant noodles. <laughs> yeah. So in one container, it contains 204 grams of food, 590 calories, 17 grams of protein, 27.7 grams of fat, 13.1 which are saturated fat. Um, it also contains 67.7 grams of carbs, 2.2 grams of sugar, and 2,244 grams of sodium. I forgot what we were doing. I opened it? So inside the noodle, there is the beef. It feels kind of saucy, but I can feel the beef cubes. And then there is the oil packet, and also the seasoning packet, and then obviously the noodles. So the water just stopped boiling and I was reading here, it says to actually pour the water in first and then you actually put the sauces on top to cover it so it cooks and then after three minutes to put all of the sauces in. So I'm going to do it that way. You pour water up to the indicated line. Okay, so I just pour the water in. <laughs> One more time. Cut. So I just pour the water in, and then I'm gonna put all of the sauces on top and keep it covered for three minutes. I'm gonna set a timer right now. I just set the timer for three minutes, and now we wait. Do -do -do -do. it doesn't make sense to put the water in first and not put any of the sauces and stuff but when you put the other stuff on top it's actually melting the oil packet and it's heating up the beef packet and you're also using it to weigh down the lid so the ramen is definitely cooking 200 IQ okay while we're waiting Random fact! Average person will spend six months of their lives waiting for red lights to turn green. That is insane! <gasps> okay, so I have the chopsticks from the hot pot that I ate earlier. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to put all of the packets in now. So first I'm going to put in the oil packet. I actually usually don't use the oil packet in any instant noodles I eat, but for you guys, I'm going to try it today. Aww. It smells like sha cha beef. Okay, next I'm going to put the seasoning pack. 
I think this is the spicy part. Oh yeah. This is a spicy mala flavor. I can smell it. it smells good. And lastly, I'm gonna put in the beef. This seems very saucy. And very oily. It actually looks kind of gross. <laughs> So this is what it looks like and after that I'm supposed to mix. So it actually smells really good. Just like mala hot pot. Yeah, it's quite a bit of noodles. Uh, the beef here is one piece. So it's already cooked and basically you just have to heat it up. Oh, the beef is like tendon and beef. Dang, that looks good. And there, it looks like there's real chili pepper flakes. I can already tell this is gonna be delicious. First of all, it is very oily. Mmm. Wow. The noodles cook really fast because you only put it in for like three minutes before you put in the seasoning and the beef. The texture is actually really good and I like that it's kind of like wavy ramen. It's different than regular instant. Okay, one mm. So the flavor of the soup is spicy beef hot pot flavor. So it actually tastes quite similar to the hot pot that I just had. So the soup is quite salty and it's not as spicy as the hot pot one but in terms of like beef flavor it's pretty similar and yeah overall it's just like less spicy and still very oily okay so i'm gonna try a piece of the beef This is actually more tendon than beef, and I really like tendon, so. Whoa! Okay, the beef is also really tender and soft. But the tendon is so good. I love tendon. It's really well cooked. It's very surprising that this comes in a packet inside some instant noodles. <laughs> I'm very impressed. If you didn't know, in Japan, when you slurp ramen, you're actually showing appreciation to the chef. So they say that the louder you slurp, the more delicious you think it is. So if you ever hear some people slurping really loud, it's actually not trying to be rude. It's a compliment to the chef. I might be slurping a little bit and I'm paying compliments to the chef, which was me, because I made this, so.
So I just finished eating the soup. Try to do too much at once. <laughs> Please don't put that in the video. <laughs> it is hot. <clears throat> I don't usually burp. That was weird. It just came out. <laughs> I swear, I, I usually don't burp. Like, I, I can't even. Yeah, usually I can't. Anyway, so I just finished eating the super hot pot beef flavor instant noodles. They were actually really good for the price. It was only $1.77 US or $52 Taiwan dollars. There was quite a bit of beef in here, although not as good as the hot pot one, but the hot pot was $9 US, so it is considerably more expensive than this. All in all, I think that this is actually really good value for what it is, and it's a good pick for instant noodles. The taste is very good, and the fact that there's beef in here, I think it's worth it. I would definitely try this again or maybe try one of the other flavors that they have. I think they had four or five other flavors. I can't remember what they are, but if I try them, I will let you know how it goes. Well, that is all I have for you guys today. Thank you for joining me on this 7-Eleven food run review. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And if you have any ideas for future videos that you want to see, you can leave suggestions in the comments below. Also, if you're interested, this was actually all filmed on my live stream on Twitch. Normally, I do travel streams and sometimes we do things like this where we try different things from different countries so if you're interested please check out my twitch at twitch.tv slash bonsai thank you everyone for watching the video i hope to see you guys next time bye cut <laughs> hey guys welcome to my youtube channel today we are trying some kimchi that i bought at the 7-eleven I may have already eaten half um, yesterday, but it's okay. So it's very sour and um, maybe it's gone bad and we shouldn't eat it. Well, that's the end of our video. See you guys next time. Please like and comment and subscribe and bookmark my Amazon affiliate link as your Amazon homepage. It actually helps me at no additional cost to you. And also, please follow me on Spotify. <laughs> it's a very important platform. Yes. Um, okay, see you guys next time. Peace. <laughs>